When I came home from the army, I had a very interesting encounter with my mother. Uh, and your mother's name is? Shirley Graham Du Bois. Yes. Uh, while I was in the army in the Philippines, my mother regularly sent me newspapers, bundles of newspapers and magazines. And among them were uh, the uh, a newspaper called The Compass, which was published in New York at this time, a progressive uh, weekly newspaper, and also The Daily Worker, which was the newspaper of the Communist Party of the USA at that time. And uh, included in the bundles of newspapers uh, that I was sent by my mother were these two newspapers. And I spent a lot of time reading these papers because both of those two papers carried a whole lot of information about black folks uh, that one didn't see in regular newspapers, in ordinary in the sort of mainstream press. Uh, so that when I came back from the army, uh, I discovered that my mother was very much involved, actively involved, uh, in the progressive movement of that year, of, the, of those years. And uh, one of the first things, in fact, that we did, my mother and I, when I got back... You reunited with your mother at that time. Yes, I reunited. Yes. She was living in New York. Yes. Uh, and I got uh, discharged in New York. It's interesting, I could have been discharged in Seattle because my father was still alive and I could have indicated that you know I wanted to be uh, discharged in Seattle because I wanted to be around fa with my uh, father yes but I chose New York because in the interim the period prior to my discharge my brother had died in 1944 oh. my brother had died and it had been a terrible blow on my, to my mother oh, I and I you. felt that yes. uh, it was best that I go to New York and be with her yes. uh, under those circumstances so that I chose to to, uh, to be discharged in New York City and that's how I was able to go to uh, on the GI Bill to school at, at, at Hunter uh, I was where were we I was but you were talking about how your mother was involved in the progressive movement. Yes, yes, yes. And the very first, one of the early, early, early days after I, when I returned, my mother and I sat up until the wee hours of the morning reading together the Communist Manifesto of Karl Marx. And uh, that had a, an enormous impact on me. Just the reading of it under those circumstances, together with my mother, after the experiences I'd had in the army, in a segregated army, uh, and uh, in which there were in innumerable instance, instances of, of, of injustice uh, to black troops that I experienced, uh, it had an enormous influence on me. And from that moment, really, I, I, I really became a radical. I really became a radical. And it was because of that that the four years that I, uh, partly because of that, the four years that I spent at Hunter, I spent as mainly an actor. I was in every student organization mm -hmm. that existed. I was in every veterans progressive organization that existed. And I was spent all, all my time, all my time. I, I did the, all I did uh, for my schoolwork was all that was absolutely <laughs> necessary for me to get by. But at least you got a B. <laughs> at least I got a B. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe that the most important thing to know about my mother was that, well, I will not say the most important thing. One of the important things to realize about my mother is that um, she had a life of, a lifetime of accomplishments before she married W.E.B. Du Bois. And this is not known. In the same way that the accomplishments of most black women are unknown in our society today. Uh, secondly, uh, I think that it's important to know that my mother, my mother's devotion almost a commitment to W.E.B. Du Bois uh, 
contributed, of course, to my commitment to W.E.B. Du Bois, but also uh, stood in the face of and 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 uh, pro uh, not protected, stood in the face of all the attempts are are the are the the attempts to uh, denigrate Du Bois and to to uh, uh, destroy really uh, the legacy uh, and the meaning, the true meaning of that legacy. Um, thirdly, I think that uh, people should know um, how, despite uh, being for most of her creative life uh, a single mother, that is a mother without uh, a man at her side, uh, she was able to uh, achieve at the same time as um, uh, fulfill her responsibilities uh, as a mother. In other words, uh, the, the extraordinary, the extraordinary uh, uh, history of black women in general, the extraordinary uh, achievements of black women in, in general uh, in the face of the kind of indignity, the kind of insult and injury, the kind of uh, uh, lack of recognition that women in general uh, in this society <clears throat> experience. Um, I, the number, the, there are a couple of other things, but these are the important things in my judgment.